Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial I'm going to be creating a linked list project. And for this first video in this playlist what I'm going to do is I'm going to be creating a .h file or a interface file. And inside this file I'm going to create a class and it's going to be a linked list class. And so basically I'm going to start off with that for this first video and then I'll go ahead and build on that and uh, we'll create a entire linked list project here before we're done with uh, the playlist. So anyway, I'm using NetBeans 7.0.1 for my IDE here. And so in NetBeans, I'm just going to click on this icon right here to start off and uh, it's going to create a new project. So now I've got this new project window open and uh, we're going to be making a C++ application so we'll go ahead and click there and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click next here so now the next window is asking me to name my application so I'm just going to name my application list video and then I want to make sure that the C++ extension is uh, selected here so that it will, it will make a C++ main file for me so now I'm going to click finish. So now I've got this project called list video here. And we've got the source file main.cpp. This is where we're going to be testing our list class. But uh, for this first video I'm going to make the interface file and we're going to do that here in the header files folder. So I'm just going to right click the header files and then I'm going to do a new C++ header file and we're going to name this file we're just going to call it list.h so it's named list and this this is the .h extension for header and uh, we're just going to push click finish here so now we've got a header file called list.h and this is where we're going to define the interface for our class so inside these file guards here is where we're going to define or we're actually not going to define our class here but we're going to just put the interface for our class. We're going to kind of put the the basics of the class. We'll define the class in another file called list.cpp. I'll do that in another tutorial. But for now we're just going to start off and just say class and let's just call it links. Well, we don't have to call it linked list. Let's just call our class list. And then we're going to do curly braces and then we end our curly braces with a semicolon here. So basically everything inside of these curly braces here is going to be part of our class. And there's two main categories in the class. There is the public and the private section. So we're just going to start with the private. So you do private and then colon there. And uh, basically the private stuff, the private part of the class is all the parts that can only be accessed by the functions in the class that we define later. So our functions that we're going to be using to access the private data will reside in the public area of our class. So I'll just do a comment here saying this is where the functions go and these functions are going to access the private data and kind of manipulate our list however we want so we'll be able to operate our list by using the public section the public section then goes into the private section of our list and manipulates data as we need so first thing we need to do inside of our private section is we're going to create a node struct because a list is created with a bunch of nodes so we're just going to type in struct node and then our curly braces and we need to make sure we end that. I don't know why that didn't do it already but we need to make sure we end our oh that's because I didn't spell it right. str struct. So our structs need to end with a semicolon after the curly braces here and then inside of our node struct we want uh, two different uh, data members basically we want a data and uh, data is going to be an integer so it's just a variable that can hold an integer value so each node will have this variable in it that can hold an integer and then the other property of our node is we want to do node star next 
and this is basically going to create a node pointer inside of each node and its purpose is so that it can point to another node in the list. So this one stores the data of each node and this item will basically point to the next node in the list. So one useful thing that I like to do when I'm uh, creating a node struct I'm going to be dealing with a lot of node pointers is I like to put in type def struct node star node ptr for node pointer and basically if I type in this line of code well, I think I typed it in wrong I've got an error here t type def there we go so if I type in this line of code right here basically what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to type in the word node ptr and every time I type in this right here it's basically going to be the same thing as if I typed in struct node star. So it's basically the prefix to creating a node pointer. So for example, just to make that point clear here, we're going to create a few node pointers and normally we would just go node star and then head to create the head node pointer. But because I've defined it this way, I'm just going to, instead of node star, I'm going to write node ptr for node pointer. So it's the same thing now that I've defined it this way. And uh, now that I've showed you this, um, let's just show you one more thing here. And we can actually condense this part of our code and the node struct into like a nicer little compact form here. And uh, basically the way we do that is we're going to do type def before before we define the struct and then here we put star node ptr and that basically combines this line of code and the, what we used to have right here all in one so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it this way so now we have a type def which is node ptr and every time we type node ptr right here then we get the same thing as if we were to type node star. So this is where I'm going to end this tutorial right now. Well actually let me go ahead and put two more things real quick. We're going to need another node pointer and we're going to call it current. And then one more thing in our private section is we're going to need a node pointer. And we're going to call that temporary for a temporary pointer. So these, this is going to be the basics right here of our private section of our list class. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and next we'll be working on the public interface of the list class. But uh, for now, that's where we'll stop. So yeah, we'll see you guys in video two. Have a good one, and uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.